Hi Virgo, welcome to your July 2017 love reading. It's Raina here. And before I begin, I just wanted to let you know because some of you who watched last month may have watched a new series of videos that I did for single people because I did get some people who were saying, hey, you know, these love readings, they seem about people who are already coupled and I'm single and I want that. And at the beginning when I first started doing love readings, I tried to be very aware of that and I think somewhere along the way I just kind of seem to be focused on relationships so I tried to do it that way and what I discovered was that there still seemed to be connections to other people and some people I did get like at least one or two people that said but I don't have any of these people in my life and like they were like purely single and um so I think I'm going to do like a whole different type of reading that isn't really based upon past, present, future so much about as about like philosophical, spiritual techniques or advice on how to attract that perfect person because that would be purely without any kind of past or anything like that. So, I mean, there could be... I know this is probably very confusing, but I'm going to be trying to find the perfect reading for that. But I'm going to be doing it on a new platform, which is my website. I'm going to charge $1.77 for these readings. I'm still going to be doing these types of readings, though, just to make that clear. So, you, you know, that's always going to be here. And... Um, it, because it, it, it also, you know, it costs me something to be able to host uh, videos on my site. Okay, so I'm charging $177 US dollars, $1.70 US currency, I should say. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be incorporating a new deck that I got that I'm very excited to use on a wide scale basis, which is for love, Oracle of the Mermaids, and other Oracle cards that I have, and the tarot. So if you're interested, I think they will be up around mid-July, so you can always check back to my website, rainandmoonastrology.com. I will be providing the link below these videos when it becomes available. So if I don't have the link to that particular page, then chances are I haven't put up the videos yet. Okay, so now we're going to do this one. It's for July for all of you. There's your card, Virgo. <laughs> it's funny, I've had a theme of like picking people's cards for each of the, you know, for some of the signs. Like I just picked Emperor for Aries and I picked, I picked the Chariot for Cancer. Okay, when I get a card like the Five of uh, Swords, I pick another card here. Okay, because there's certain cards that it doesn't resolve themselves. They don't resolve themselves, and that's one of them. Okay, so um, central to your theme in July for your love is... Um, the Hermit card, which is a card that is associated with Virgo. It's a card of um, going within. You see he's holding the lantern, the inner light. Not the outer bright, shiny objects, the inner light. And this is about something to do with love, where you're contemplating, pondering. Maybe it's a decision you have to make. Maybe... It's a relationship that you don't know if you should pursue. I did get, for the past position, the Ace of Cups. This is an offer of love. So this can be why you're pondering your life. You're saying, gee, you know, I'm not sure which way I should go with this. And the truth about this is that there may be other reasons why it's not necessarily something 
that um, is easy to choose. If, for instance, you might be taken and yet you are not happy in your relationship. The other person may be taken and you feel like, is it right to be seeing somebody who's already in a relationship with somebody else? I think that's a very valid question. Obviously, there are extenuating circumstances. Sometimes there are very compelling reasons why that person would do that. But sometimes there are not. Sometimes it's just that that person wants to have an affair. Okay. Um, what is coming in, or don't get hung up on, on time frames, but what could be happening also at this time is that things all of a sudden start to flow. So maybe you take a breather and you're by yourself. Maybe somebody, maybe you even like share your feelings with somebody else. Maybe it's even at work. I'm saying, I keep saying maybe. Somebody said maybe this, maybe that. Yeah, maybe. I'm not going to say anything definitively. Um, but the thing is that it could even be in the, work, in the workplace because let's face it, that's where a lot of people meet, uh, seem to meet people these days. Wherever you meet a person, you have that connection and you share your feelings and yet for some reason you pull back and you kind of maybe distance yourself from that person because you know that the, it's complicated. Okay, well, this is like everything kind of like a catalyst. Everything just starts to, to, to happen, you know, rapid fire. Maybe you're, you stop communicating with that person, and all of a sudden it's like back and forth, back and forth, okay? And there's a sense of eagerness, a sense of like wanting to pursue this and having that excitement about the potential for this relationship. The higher message is the King of Swords. So it's saying, keep your head. Don't get swept away. Even if you have very strong feelings, just keep your logic. And also keep your dignity. Don't settle for less. If somebody, if you feel that somebody is telling you things that are maybe half truths and you, it doesn't add up, don't fall for the okie doke because you want it. The, the king is a dignified individual and doesn't stoop to petty things, including being in duplicitous relationships. The, uh, the card that crosses you is the nine of cups. Now, there's that nine again, just like the, the hermit. The number nine is the, the number of humanitarianism, which that's why it's associated with the hermit or anything spiritual and things like that. But the nine of cups is, it's funny, it's associated with indulgence. How can that, how can it be both? Well, the, the number nine, if you look at the astrological houses, the ninth house is Sagittarius, and Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. Jupiter is about excess sometimes. It's a very big planet. It's kind of does things in a big way. And so this can be about excess. Um, it could be, since it's cups, excess drinking. Maybe you, maybe somebody else. And that is creating problems in your life. Somebody else's drinking could easily create problems. Um, maybe that's why you are afraid of getting involved with that person. Maybe you met them in a bar and they really pounded them back. And even though you're attracted to them, you're afraid that they're an alcoholic. Um, but this could be too much of a good thing. I know there's no such thing as too much of a good thing. And actually, Virgo people, you're not... You're not uh, self-indulgent usually or excessive. You tend to be minimalists rather than indulgent people. But don't have too much of that bee pollen. Uh, so that's what I would associate with uh, Virgos more than uh, booze, bee pollen. Um, but um, 
it when in this particular situation it can be um it's right below the king of swords so it could be that you're over the top emotionally and that's why i got the king of swords as the as the uh, what do you call it the um, higher message the spiritual message kind of warning against that type of maudlin behavior or Oh, you know, the gushy type of thing that is so not you, but anybody can get into that frame of mind if they meet the right person. If that person is a water sign, they may bring that out in you. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, particularly Cancer and um, definitely Pisces. They have that sentimentality that can kind of... Um, influence you and make you as corny as they can be but I'm saying that in a sweet way I mean it's it can be very sweet and speaking of sweet this can either be coming up sometimes it's advice but I think this is more of the um, near future this is a card of marriage but this can also be of commitment happy family happiness um, a sense of cohesiveness with the people that you love a celebration a wedding it could be you know june is a time or well i this is i'm recording this in june and again don't get hung up on time uh june all summer months are times of weddings a lot of times or uh, family gatherings parties so that could be a time it's right under that ace of cups Perhaps we're looking at the, the timeline is not exactly as I'm saying it. Maybe you meet somebody at a party and that's where you find the love. It could be a family gathering or a wedding, something along those lines. But it's a very positive card, let's put it that way, uh, for your life. And with these other cups, it sounds like there's love in the air, okay? And the outcome is the five of swords this is kind of what i'm talking about um i have a feeling that for some of you there's a complicated situation it's not clear cut the love may be there but there may be other factors if you notice in the background of this there are other people in that background so it's very important that any kind of relationship that you get involved with that you know exactly who is in the mix um, this could be a card of verbal um sleight of hand so to speak where somebody is telling you half truths as i and and maybe the king of swords is you seeing things as they really are and not getting swayed by emotion so there could be something that it could just be saying there's a lot of people involved in the situation so don't be <clears throat> too <clears throat> in need of things happening right away because it may take time. You may have to be the hermit for a little while longer. And the outcome is the seven of pentacles, kind of just what I was saying, which was you have to have patience, you have to kind of see how this plays out. This is about, this is the farmer's card. This is about waiting for the harvest to come in and you're seeing good signs, you're seeing leaves growing which speaks of life and and all those things of feeling a sense of nourishment that things there's growth in the relationship but it still may be a situation that is not fully developed yet where that other person can't be with you yet or you can't be with them and yet you can still monitor the relationship even if you can't actually be in it in the way that you would like. And maybe you grow as friends and that would actually be the best thing. You see that these are pentacles with the seven. Um, so it's all about tangible results, not about pie in the sky stuff. So it's, you know, Virgos notice the small details in life. So you're having a conversation with this person and you say, wow, yeah, you know, we really, we really see the world in the same way. I think that we would have a great relationship because we would understand one another. Or wow, you know, this person 
has the same taste in music, even though that sounds superficial, it's really not because it really does go along with your view of life. And um, you go, wow, I think that we have a lot of compatibility here. So um, in any case, Virgo, it looks really good. It looks like there, it seems like everything isn't like full systems go, but it seems like you have something new in terms of love in your life. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below or go to rainamanastrology.com. I wish you all the best in July. Take care. Bye.